welcome to Lil's Vintage World. Today I have a charity shop book haul for you. I've been quite restrained and I've only got six books, which I think is quite good. Let's get straight into it. I'll do my best to leave links for them in the description bar below. So getting started, I first of all saw Winnie's Crazy Capers by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul. This is three books in one. Now, if you've been watching my channel recently, you know that I have rediscovered the Winnie the Witch books, which I first read when I was at first school on the red carpet of Love and Life. Um, as I said, this book is three books in one. So we have Winnie's Midnight Dragon, which I haven't read, Happy Birthday Winnie, which I have read, and Winnie's Flying Carpet, which I also haven't read. What I love about these books is the illustrations. I mean, isn't that just like magnificent? It's the detail in them and the shading, the colours. I just think they're absolutely glorious. And I read this book and then I just stare at the pages for a good, you know, 10 minutes each. They're just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Did anybody else read these Winnie the Witch books when they were a kid? lovely. Then if you watch my May 2019 wrap up you'd have seen that I reread The Worst Witch uh, by Jill Murphy which I read as a child and really enjoyed and I said in that wrap up I don't know why when I was a kid I didn't carry on with the rest of the series and I said if I see them I will pick them up and I saw some so I picked them up. So starting off I picked up A Bad Spell for the Worst Witch of course by Jill Murphy. I don't know why I didn't read this because this came out in 1980 and I was born in the 90s so this was out before I was born but look at this cover isn't it really really nice it's much nicer than my old manky cover and Jill Murphy does the illustrations herself and I think they're absolutely wonderful so so good so I'm looking forward to reading that one and the other one that I got was The Worst Witch Saves the Day now this one came out in the early part of the year 2000 so 2005 I want to say yeah 2005 so I wouldn't have read this as a child because I wasn't a child at this point, I don't think. Was I a child? Oh no, I was a teenager, so I wouldn't have read this. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this one this month and this one next month. So I can kind of space them out a bit. Well, I don't think there's that many books in the series, actually. I don't think it's a, a big, huge series or anything like that. Then I got my hands on a historical fiction. This is The Nine Day Queen by Ella March Chase. Whoever owned this book before me completely, like, broke the spine. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of, like, on a complete wonk. Um, so they love this book, so I'm hoping that I do too. This is historical fiction on Lady Jane Grey. Uh, and actually, funny enough, my one of my favourite books and my favourite historical fiction book of all time is a historical fiction book on Lady Jane Grey so fingers crossed I'm gonna love it I hope um I really 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 want to find some historical fiction that I love because I think it's a lot easier to get historical fiction wrong than it is to get right so Anyway, uh, then for 30p, so I couldn't pass this up, I found Book Lover by Jennifer Kaufman and Karen Mack. Some women shop, some eat, Dora Cures the Blues by binging on books. It just sounded nice. And for 30p, I thought I will give it a go. Give it a go. And then finally, I picked up a non-fiction. Uh, this is Elizabeth Fortune's Bastard by Richard Rex. Any book on Elizabeth I am all over like an absolute rash. Elizabeth is my historical heroine, as I'm sure you know, so I thought I'd get this. Richard Rex is the Director of Studies in History at Queen's College, Cambridge, so I have high hopes for this. I think this will hopefully be really, really, really good. Hopefully. Um, and I'm hoping to get to that really, really soon because I'm really excited to read that. So there we are. That is my little charity shop book haul. I think I've done quite well and have been quite controlled. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. So that's it for this video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.